Kal Halalium La Yahawa Bahasham Shah Yahawa Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahawa, Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, in the name of His Son, Yahawa Shai, His Son's only Hebrew name, whereby we, we can be saved, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, um, Natives, Amerindians, and Confusion of Faces, that like the heathens, the so called white race, the so called Arabs, etc. All right. In the Holy Spirit, the Rakak Wadash was the wisdom and understanding um, that Yahweh Hashem has given to his people yet again to the apostles and elders of great and stone, whereby we give double honors because they rule and teach well. All right. Um, I want to go into this lesson. And Lord willing, know this lesson is very fine. And the Wadi Yahweh Hashem has put in his spirit on me to do this lesson. A lesson called Two Manner of People. So I'm going to read these precepts and then um, show a video of the two manner of people how Bashim Yashai created. Alright. This is Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. It says, And Isaac entreated Yahweh for his wife because she was barren, and Yahweh was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Children struggle together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of Yahweh. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated out of thy bowels. See, so it says, Two nations. Two nations are in two different people. Right? Two different people, even though they come from the same mother and father. Right? And, and two manner of people, two manner, let's look up that word manner. Turn this out just in case. Manner, right? It says mode of action, way of performing or doing something. Characteristic mode of acting or behaving, bearing, right? It says one customary method of acting habit good one customary method of of act of acting habit all right so let's work with, let's go with that and it says and one people shall be stronger than the other and the elder shall serve the younger so it's going to show you who's going to serve the younger and who's going to be um stronger it says oh Mm. It's lucky. And when when her days and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, behold there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they call his name Esau, so he's the eldest, right? And um there'll be a so called white race. You know, the Edomites, the Caucasians, so called Caucasians. Alright? says and after that came his brother out and and his hand took the heel on Esau and his name was called Jacob and Isaac was three score years old and she buried him. yeah when he came out that way that wasn't um, customary that wasn't a common thing for a baby to come out um, red all over like a hairy diamond he was, he was red all over because he looked he looked dead his blood was pressed against his skin what you would call a so translucent skin all right um so i'm gonna play play this clip and then i'm going to uh, go through some precepts father willing all right so this is a brother from our camp yoramia you know and i asked him permission to do a lesson with this video you know, because you know, the spirit got on me as soon as I saw this other video I'll play with Esau, all right? So this is Jacob. This is the this is the manner, right? Yeah, no. Adar, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahash, Barakatam, Bahasham, Barakar Kadash, Shalawal, Shamar Kazak, Baamat, means stay strong and true. You know, 
all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. You know that that you know the young ones, the seed, the seed of Israel, the seed of Israel. You know is being taught the holy name, and as you can see, he's a confusion of face. You know, because you know Jake's father was with um, was with an Elamite woman, Elamite woman, and then. You know, he got to the Elamite woman as well, so his son is looking, you know, more more like an Elamite. Alright, so this is Esau now. See Esau teaching teaching their sons how to operate these weapons, these swords, right? And while Jacob teaching his, his son to be righteous. So let's get that. Let's go to Genesis uh, 27, I think it's 19. Genesis, let's see, bear with me, Bakusha. Hmm. Yeah, let's start from 27. It says, Genesis 27 and 26. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and, sm and the smell of his raiment, and he blessed him, and said, See, see the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which Yahweh hath blessed. Therefore the most I give thee the Jew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Alright and um, just you know just to be up to speed, this is when Jacob um, supplanted <laughs> supplanted his brother Esau, alright? His mother, you know, had him dressed as, as Esau garments and put hairy a hairy uh, goat skin on his arm so that he would be hairy like Esau right so his father because his, his father could, could have hardly see you know Jacob and um, Slakia Isaac right it says let let people let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee and be Lord over thy brethren let thy mother's son bow down to thee Curse be he, Slakia, curse be everyone that cursed thee, and bless blessed be he that blessed thee. Alright? And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made end of his blessing, and Jacob was yet scarce gone out of the presence of his of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from from his hunting. You see, we came from hunting. So Jacob received the blessing. To what? To father people to serve him and his and um, the Jew of heaven, the fatness of the earth, plenty of carnal wine, etc. It says, and he also had made savory meat and brought it into his father and said unto him, Let my father rise, eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may be blessed. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn, Esau. And Isaac trembled with ex a very exceedingly, and said, Who? Where is he that taketh hath, that hath taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten all before thou camest, and have blessed him, yea, he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety, and hath taken away thy blessing. But this was prophesied. That's what we read in chapter 25. It was prophesied. So it's all part of Yahweh Hashem Hashem Master Plan. You know, and, and as brothers as brother as a brother once said, you know, Yahweh Bashim Hashem loves drama. He sets apart this for his own pleasure. Right? You know, and, and Esau was said as unfair. We heard Esau said as unfair, but there's nothing you can do. That's Yahweh Hashem Hashem will. 
And he said, Is he not rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me even also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Through the Spirit, right, through the Spirit, Isaac said this, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have a dominion that thou shalt break the yoke from his neck all right and it but the main thing is that he said by the sword he shall live and we clearly see that young that young edomite was taught to live by the sword you know and he was quick and and you know efficient because that's the spirit you know let's get his priest up one time and then we then wrap it up with Jake um, yeah this is Psalms 58 and verse uh, yeah start from 2 says yea in their heart let's lock it let's start from one it says to the chief musician Alt altaschit miktam of david do ye in do ye indeed speak righteousness o congregation do ye judge uprightly o sons of men yea in in heart ye work wickedness ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth and who's doing that esau esau goes to war for no reason at all right? because that's his blessing the wicked are estranged from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies all right so the estranged from the womb all right as in he go against the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai says their poison is like the poison of a serpent they are like the deaf adder that stop it stop it her ear it says which will not which will not hearken to the voice of charmers charming never so wisely all right so we're we're the charmers trying to tell Esau that yo you're going down and so forth but he really thinks he's gonna win all right and they're teaching the young ones all right just so just so um you know i'm not going off topic but just to expound on on the precept at hand but the main point is that they're estranged from the wound but i'm just going down you know, for edification says break their teeth and what's their teeth their military force almost high in their mouth break break out their teeth of the young lions oh yahweh all right let them melt away as waters which which run continually when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrow let them be as let them be as cut in pieces and what's their bow the gun the gun all right and let's get this in Genesis pertaining to uh, Israel. This is Genesis 18, 18. Seeing that Abraham shall shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. All right. So, um, Esau did get his blessing. Every nation has a blessing, but Israel's portion is rulership from priesthood. That's that's our portion, you know. As it is written for I know for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of Yahweh to do justice and judgment that Yahweh may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him all right and what's that to make him multiply as the stars of heaven and the, and, the, and the sea and his people shall inherit the land and be righteous and holy as as Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is righteous and holy all right let me get this other one um second Ezra six. Should I get that? No, nah, I don't get that. I'll get this one. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's. Yeah, Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. All right, for all the earth is mine, and this is um, Yahweh Hashem, which I talk to the children of Israel. You can read in chapter in verse one. It says in the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they came they into the wilderness of Sinai. All right. It says verse. Let's go back to verse six. It says, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So you see two manner of people. What? Oh, yeah, you see the spirit? <laughs> two manner of people. I gotta bring it out. Um, um, all right. Yeah, this is Second Ezra chapter six and verse seven. Then answered I and said, "What what shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be? You see the parting asunder, because the scripture says a two man of people shall be separated, as in a chosen seed, all right? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow it? The end of the first, what is the firstborn, all right? And he said unto me, for Abraham." From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, Jacob's hand, Jacob's hand first held first the, the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. Yeah, Esau would destroy the world with his wickedness. All right. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, to the point. Um, oh Lord, willing, if I, if I find any more clips, I'll do up another version of this and I, I pray that this lesson was very fine I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai the Lance the Apostle and Elves of Great Millstone and Shalom Bakatham Akiyamiya